Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel and in this particular video we are going to learn about how to use classes in JavaScript, right? So classes in JavaScript is a modern and a clean way to create multiple objects uh, like uh, students, books, cars, etc. Right? So a class in a JavaScript is basically a template for creating multiple objects and that we are going to understand in this particular video that how we create classes and how we use it. So let's start, let's code, let's go. So let's first understand the definition of classes, right? So as you can see here that a class in JavaScript is like a blueprint or a template, right? So for creating multiple objects with the same properties and behavior. Before classes, uh, if you have heard about pro creating prototypes, right? Uh, constructor functions this was the method but we use and that was quite uh, lengthy and uh, uneasy to use but with the help of classes this has become much easier and readable right so what class does that it help us to create a reusable codes right it helps to keep the things organized and it helps to make object certain simple right so this is what your class is now we will understand that how class is built and how we use it right so let's start so let's uh, take an example of creating a class named student student right now we will put a curly bracket so for creating a class first we write the class at the first right then we write the name of the class then we take a curly bracket and then inside of this we write what we write a constructor constructor will hold the logic right whatever logic we want to build and constructor will hold the parameters also like we after constructor we put a parenthesis inside of this we write all the parameters like name and marks right and then we will create a curly bracket and inside of this we will write the logic so uh, this dot name I'm creating a variable inside of this constructor and holding this values inside of it so this dot name equals to name and this dot marks equals to marks right yeah so this is how we create a constructor which will hold all the logics right now coming up to the next what actually we are going to use when we create a class think about it so basically we create a function like show details and when we will create a class with the help of this we create a particular object right and then if we try to call a method so we will call this particular function which we are, we are going to create now so that is show detail inside of this what we are going to write uh, let's say anything like return uh, not this let's get a back tick and uh, a dollar sign and the name right so this dot name is scored let's get a dollar sign and this dot marks right yeah so every time when you call this show details it will show me this result for the object that is created using this class right so let's see that how we create an object with the help of this class so uh, first we will write let and create uh, let's create a number of students like s1 right equals to then we will use a new keyword and then we will write the name of the class that is the student that we are going to use and inside of this we are going to give a parameter when we will give a parameter inside of it like uh, uh, Aman and marks is what 89 right when we have given this parameters this will go inside this constructor and these sorry when we'll give this arguments right this is the argument when we'll give this argument this will go inside this constructor and inside this constructor we are having these parameters these parameter will hold these values and will transfer it inside this variables and how this is how your particular s1 this particular object will be created right 
okay fine now if i use the methods like uh, show detail here right we have created this show detail so if i want to call it then how i can do is uh, i will print it console.log and i write s1 dot uh, show detail right show details so this is how we are going to call it since it is a function we will use this parenthesis and let's see that what we are getting in inside of our console and you can see that i'm getting the aman scored 89 so s1 s1 was sharing aman and 89 here and aman and 89 are shown inside this marks and when i call show detail then show detail has is written this where first i will call i am calling this name and then i write scored and then i'm calling this marks and this is i am getting inside my console so this is how you create a class and by that class i created an object and every time i want a method which that particular class will hold if i want to call it i will get my result i want to create a more number of methods inside of it i can create that also so let's uh, like let's create a new method that is uh, rewards okay rewards rewards method right so this is something which i have given my own you can, right yeah so if i want to return that uh, uh let's say dollar sign and uh, okay first write a tactic and then a dollar sign right and this dot name has got a scholarship this is something i want to print right yeah so if i call s1 dot rewards right so what it will show me it is showing that aman got a scholarship why because now i create a new method that is reward and inside of it i am returning this particular line of right so this is how you use the methods right and if i want to create more objects with the help of that particular class i can do that also like let s2 equals to a uh, new student bracket then put uh, any name like sara comma 78 right now if i apply these methods for the s2 also it will do the same like s2 dot show details you can see here sara scored 78 sara and 78 right so this is how you create your class this is how you create object with the help of the constructor or the logic of that particular class and this is how you use the method that you create inside of that class right so this was whole for today's video i hope you understood the usage of classes and uh, this is all for today's and uh, we will meet in the next video very soon so till then make sure that you like and subscribe the channel goodbye